from Bob Hart's Abishola on CBS, none other than Billy Gardell, the grown-up here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Billy? <laughs> What's up, you guys? Good morning. Hey, Good morning, Rich. Billy. How you doing, buddy? You sound I'm great, doing Billy. Good, man. Getting through it a day at a time like everybody else, like listening that. to science and doctors and math and just trying to stay in that lane. Not a boy. I'm glad that you're. I can't mess with this. I can't mess with this virus. I'm 50. I'm overweight. I got asthma and type 2 diabetes. It's outside looking for me. I got to be extra careful. And I'm glad that you're inside on the phone here on that hard line uh, chat with me. Um, and and uh, figuratively, uh, smoke him if you got him Thursday night. The rare situation where the Steelers have coughed up their first round pick, although it was kind of worth it for Minka Fitzpatrick last year, wouldn't you say? Billy? Um, I, 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 that's why I'm completely relaxed about that. Um, the one, the the one great thing about last year was we realized now we have a defense that can compete. And and uh, Minka was when I got a buddy in Miami who was tortured. He's a tortured Dolphins fan, but he called me when that trade happened. He goes, "You're going to love this guy." They, he, he's like, he's one of the few bright spots on our defense. And what he did, man, and I, this is better than anybody we could have gotten the draft. The Steelers have gotten scorched over the last decade in the middle of the field. Any quarterback that, that wants zone defense that knows how to play against it would shred us in the middle of the field. Brady shredded us in the middle of the field. And I think Minka has taken that away. He's not only he's not only made it unsafe to go in the middle, but he's provided several turnovers. I love his attitude. I, I could not be happier with that trade. So I, I'm all for that trade. I think where we got to look, I, I think they'll try to even toughen that line up even more than it is. Although it's 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 pretty electric our defensive line again finally. And we, you know when you got a good pass rush, you can hide a secondary that's trying to grow and mature. Because if you're getting to the quarterback, you ain't got time to go downfield. But if there's no pass rush, you can't hide anything. But I think that defense has come together in a way that is very very exciting. Um, I think we got to go. I think th I think where they'll look because they always traditionally do. We're always like we always have 57 linebackers. Yeah. So I would <laughs> imagine we're going to look for a linebacker or an edge rusher. And then um, they got to go after a running back. We got to go. We have to. I like Connor a lot, but he had that Pro Bowl season. But then he was banged up every couple weeks. For, for the way we play football. I'm not sure a fast, explosive runner is the guy we want. I mean, that might be a good change of speed guy. And I'm not taking anything away from Connor. I just think the punishment on his frame and weight for what we do is it doesn't match up. And I think it would be a lot better season for him if we just got a big, nasty hog to hand the ball to. Well, That's Bi what I'm rooting well, for. Well, Billy Gardell, we had, uh, we had uh, Mike Florio of Pro Football Talk on yesterday, and he threw out, hey, if Leonard Fournette's on the block, Oh. Maybe that's the fit for the Steelers. Um, again, oh. I know, again, but they it was so out of character for them to trade up for Devin Bush last year and then thoroughly out of character to trade out of a first-round pick for Mika Fitzpatrick in the middle of a season, uh, certainly after their quarterback has uh, announced he's done for the season. So right. if, if, as long as you're out of character doing that, maybe you should be a little bit out of character and go hop on Leonard Fournette. Billy. I, I think that that's one of those things where, where you know, Progress eventually makes you turn the dial a little bit. I love that they stick to always a – they stick to their number in the draft. They stick to finding players. Like one of our staples is you, you find a player in the draft that comes to Pittsburgh, gets the program, and will play so far over their head at Pittsburgh that it's amazing. And then, you know, then they move off to Seattle and you never hear their name again like Chad Brown. But I, I do believe – that uh, you have to kind of turn the dial a little bit these days because the market's just too in flux now. And uh, I, I, I would love to have for, uh, Leonard Fournette. I, I, I would, uh, yeah, that's what. The thing I miss most about Bettis is if, if you had five minutes left in the game, and even if you were up by two, if you saw him come trotting out, you could just relax. You could you could go build a plate of nachos because you knew he was just going to grind them mm -hmm. into submission. And I would love to have that guy. I would love to have a closer like that again. That would be my ultimate pick. But I don't I don't know where they're going to go for that. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.